Hi. So today I'm going to be doing some unboxing. Although they didn't come in boxes. Um, I had to open it because I'm looking for a present. So I don't want to put that on camera yet. Um, these nice bags though came in this packaging. Um, which was fine. It actually was really thick plastic. Um, and then they put them in these nice really thick mailers inside. Um, this store, I don't even know how it's pronounced if there is a pronunciation um but this is where i got these kits this d x y l m y u and their store says diamonds painting factory so um yeah that's where that is if you want to get these kits i ordered two of the same one um <laughs> because i was really curious about the smaller sizes so yes these are the same they're both Hello Kitty because I love Hello Kitty um, so I think this is the bigger one let's start with that first I really like when shops send them on the styrofoam I don't like when they're folded it leaves those creases and Sometimes they're hard to get those creases out. So this is a 20 by 20, um, which is small, which I expected. I really wanted to see how small the smaller ones were. And I've ordered so many big ones that I'm kind of burnt out on the larger ones. Looks like all the drills are individually bagged. They're square. They're actually really nice looking if you can see that they're not trashy looking like some of the other shops this 20 by 20 here's a picture of what it's going to be uh 23 25 colors and i learned this trick online from other watching other diamond painting people is if you just pin Peel back the corners on each side and smooth it back. That actually helps it lay flat. And I have done this many times now. And it's amazing how much more flat you can get it immediately. Anyway, since, since this one's tiny, I'm going to pull it back and see the pattern. So it's pretty cute. I think the colors are pretty spot on. I've noticed a lot of the time... The colors are much more dull. The picture on the store will be bright and vibrant, rainbowy, very exciting, and then you get it and it's really earth tone and not bright. And I don't know about you, but I like exciting. I want it to be super bright and ridiculous. So I do like that this one seems to represent uh, what the picture is, at least pretty fairly close, more than some of the other ones I've seen. Uh, so, let's get all that out of the way. I, I do like that this one is small. I mean, it's, it's fairly small. There's my hand on there, 20 by 20. This kit um, is, I believe, 15 by 15. It did come with tweezers, the standard pen and wax, little green tray. Uh, I do like the way that they number theirs. They have a sticker on there. Sorry if the lighting's bad. Um, that shows pretty darn clearly the number. Uh, I like when they make it clear. And then on the sheet they do uh, say the number that's right on the bag, the color, um, the MC number I'm assuming, and then the quantity that they've given you in a nice printing. I appreciate shops that do that. I'm going to leave this one out to see the comparison of the 15 I think this is 15 by 15, so same one. Um, yes, 15 by 15. Let's see the same colors. 23 colors, so less. Again, on a styrofoam. So much easier. I had one that was a rainbow flower, and it was really creased, and so I just had to tell myself, this one I'm doing just for fun, because... It was so creased, I would have never stopped staring at that crease. So I just kind of added it to the stack of my done projects. 
because it was really bad and I was sad. So I'm going to peel back these corners real quick just to get it to lay flat. I do love that trick. I don't remember where I learned it from, but one of the people I've watched on YouTube. So that is really small, which <laughs> I kind of like. I mean, who doesn't like something tiny, right? If it was a puppy, we'd be like, oh, puppy. Um, <laughs> The uh, colors look all fairly similar. So I'm not sure which two colors they left out, but there's those same pinks and yellows and light blues. So I feel like, again, they did a pretty good job. 15 by 15, I'm not expecting a whole lot. Um, also still came with the standard kit that you get with all of them. It's so tiny. If you've done any smaller ones or if you've even seen pictures of them, you'll know that usually the smaller get, they get, the more pixelated they are. So there's that one, but it, honestly, it doesn't look too bad. But really, normally I don't take the whole thing off of this, so I kind of wanted to just do that so we could see the... Good, back on there. But you can see the difference even from the 15 by 15 to the 20 by 20. I grabbed this video game controller so you can see how small it is. Um, that on top of there. How small the 15 by 15 is. But if you were going to give it to a child or maybe you're not sure if somebody would even like diamond painting, you feel like they would, but you're not sure, I would go for a smaller one because then at least they'll feel some satisfaction getting it done, instant gratification. And if they hated it, then you're not upset for the money <laughs> you've spent. And maybe they'll try it again um, or a child, you know, that doesn't have a lot of patience. But anyway, that's the 15 by 15 versus the 20 by 20. Uh, again, that store, I just couldn't pronounce it, um, but I do like the way that they package everything. The mailers are really nice. Um, all of the, the drills, they look really nice. I mean, usually you can take a look at the packages and just see all the like little filament garbage that's in there. And this just, it doesn't have it. You don't even see any holes. So, um, I think I would definitely order from their shop again. I appreciate the way they did everything, and it got here pretty quickly. I can't remember the dates exactly, but it wasn't too long. Standard when you're ordering on uh, AliExpress. Oh, I guess I should have said that. This was from AliExpress. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.